my name is Dibi Raimazi from BBC English Language and IELTS Center, which is uh, situated in Butol Milantok. Today I'm going to talk about two common mistakes in IELTS speaking test. Most of the students are likely to make these mistakes in IELTS speaking test. I see a lot of students, they are very comfortable when they write something or when they listen something or they read something but when they have to speak something they they feel uh, very very nervous these mistakes are significantly important in IELTS speaking the first mistake I'm going to talk about is not adding yes or yes to the verb when they are talking about the third person singular when they're talking about the third person singular he she or it now let's look at the example i have a friend his name is kamal he live in canada he walk in a hotel he loved me a lot actually it should be i have a friend his name is kamal he lives in canada he walks in a hotel he loves me a lot here the students actually make two different kinds of mistakes the two different kinds of mistakes that the i students are likely to make here is is one is a grammar mistake and another mistake is the pronunciation mistake the grammar mistake here is that they have to aid yes or yes when they are talking about the other person especially the third person singular he she or it but they are not likely to aid yes or yes okay similarly the students are likely to make pronunciation mistake the mistake is that the students the students have to say actually jaw sound but they they pronounce as sa here now let me make you clear about it here this is walks this is lives here most of the students uh, are, are likely to say lives he lives in canada but actually this is wrong this is a mistake that most of the students make in pronunciation actually this has to be pronounced as lives lives similarly he loves loves this is the reason why because the sound the yes or es after the voice sound usually sound z love lives lives but loves but usually the adding of yes or es after the voiceless or unvoiced sounds sound as sh so this is very very common mistake that students are likely to make the mistakes in pronunciation is that making sh in a state of jaw or making the sound sh in a state of jaw now let's talk about another common mistake that the students that the IELTS students are likely to make in IELTS speaking test the mistake is that using the past using the present tense in a state of past tense while talking about the past events especially in IELTS speaking part 2 let me make you clear about this kind of mistake uh, i would like to talk about a party which i attend last week i attend a party last friday the party is held at friend my friend's house it is a good party i go to the party so actually this should be the part uh, actually this would be i would like to talk about a party which i attended last friday or last week the party was held at my friend's house i went to the party with my parents they cooked nice food there here the students are again likely to make two different kinds of mistakes one that is a grammar mistake and another one is the pronunciation mistake the grammar mistake is that the student use present present simple present tense present plural form of the verb 
base form of the verb instead of past form of the verb. The students are actually supposed to use here past tense because they're talking about the past events. They have to use the past tense, not the present one. But we find a lot of students using only present tense while talking about the past events, which is actually a grammar mistake. Similarly, the students are equally likely to make a pronunciation mistake, another pronunciation mistake that they may be pronouncing the words do instead of ta or e, uh, do instead of it. L now look at here, I attended. I would like to talk about a party which I attended. Actually, this is the sound it. Attended. Attended. Okay, like, like you, can, you can see one more example here. Landed. Here do sound is a voice sound. So we have to understand very clearly the fact is that do is a voice sound. So ed after the voice sound usually ends with id. It sound that's landed, landed. Similarly, we can see another mistake that the students are likely to, to make that's cooked. Ko, ko is a voiceless sound. So the ed after ko usually sounds to, to. So here also the students, they may say they cooked, cooked nice food. They may say do instead of to. They cooked, they cooked nice foods. They cooked. Here the students may probably say attended instead of attended. Actually the students have to say attended, attended instead of attended. Here actually the students have to say cooked instead of cooked. The students may say cooked, cooked, which is actually wrong in pronunciations. So these, these two are very important. They are the uh, very important mistakes or that IELTS students often make while speaking. Dear students, if you want to improve your common mistakes, please keep on watching my YouTube channel, BBC English Language and IELTS Center. Thank you very much.